Hey y'all, thanks for giving me a few minutes to show you some things we can do with Juicebox. These are all reports that I've created before, but I think I'm going to start with a new one. We have uh, in the Juicebox report builder uh, a number of templates that you can start with. Some are simple single chart templates and some are more complex full, uh, full report templates. But I'm going to start with the trend chart because that's what I'm looking to do. And I'm going to call this my sales dashboard. <coughs> And Juicebox is going to go off and create the, the framework for this report. And it's going to drop me into the editor. And in the editor, what you see on the right side is the report, uh, the way the report's going to look. On the left, we have our editor panel. Um, this is where I make uh, text changes or add charts um, and do my configuration. And at the bottom, we have our data panel. And we can't create uh, a dashboard without some data. So I'm going to take my data and I'm going to drop it in here. And as Juicebox uploads the data, what it's going to do is it's going to do a little bit of cleaning and it's going to reformat some of the data to make sure it's the most useful it can be. And when Juicebox loads the data, it'll show up here in the bottom. So let's get uh, that data into a chart. So we have the trend line that was added as part of the template. And I'm going to start by picking a date column, and we're going to use order dates for that. And the, the measure that we want to look at is sales. There it is. I want the sum of sales. And you can see the data gets shown on the trend line. And that's, uh, by default, the, the data in this case is at the day level. But I don't, I don't want that. Uh, I want to show month. One of the nice things about Juicebox is that when you format a particular data element, uh, it automatically aggregates the data uh, to that level. So in this case, I want to look at month level data. And we'll see the chart now shows uh, sales by month. So that's really nice. That's good. Um, I think what I want to do is add another chart here. We'll add a pie chart. <clears throat> and um, give it a title. And what I want to look at with the pie chart are the uh, product subcategories. And what I want to see there are volume of sales. And there's our pie chart. Um, looks really good. Um, so, so that's good. One of the nice things about Juicebox is that um, it automatically filters uh, slices, what we'll call down the page. So if I select a, a specific date range up here on the trend line, the pie chart automatically gets filtered uh, based on, on those selections. And that's really nice um, so that you don't have to to rewire things if you move things around. Like if I want to put the pie chart in front of the trend line, I can do that. And now if I look at, uh, let's say office furnishings um, and computer peripherals, the trend line automatically gets filtered uh, for those selections. So that's really nice. But what I wanna do now is um, I want to uh, add some key metrics to my dashboard. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna add a key metrics using this uh, chooser slice. I'm gonna call it key metrics. I'm gonna get it, give it a nice big font. And the key metrics I, I want to look at are sale and profit. There we go. And now I see the totals for those, those key metrics there. Um, one of the really nice things that you can do with Juicebox is you can connect uh, a metrics slice with a chart type. Um, and I wanna do that in this case because instead of showing just uh, the sales across time, I wanna show uh, the metrics that I've charted above um, and you can see now that um, this one's highlighted, and if I click profit, the trend line automatically gets updated to show profit. So that's a nice way to add some interactivity. 
Um, so that looks pretty good. I think that does what I want to do. Um, I think uh, I think though it looks it looks kind of heavy and a little too serious. I think what I want to do is change the theme. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go and pick a different a color scheme. And uh, yeah, I think this one looks a little friendlier. It's the feeling I want to go for. So I'm going to make uh, make a little difference there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. So I like that. We'll go with that. This is good. I think it's ready to go. I want, I want to send this out to, uh, to some folks. So I'm going to go and share that. I'm going to pick public so that anybody with the link uh, can see this. When it's finished publishing that, I can copy, uh, copy this link and then send that out in an email or a Slack message. Um, you know what? But I think um, I don't like how this is all kind of spread out. So I think what I want to do is um, I want to put the pie chart next to the trend line. So I'm going to drag this trend line down here, drop it in this section with the pie chart, and I'm going to change the orientation to side by side. And now I have my pie chart next to my trend line. Let's see what that's going to look like on full width. Yep, that looks really good. And you can see up here, it tells me now that I have changes that I haven't shared. And the interesting thing, the useful thing about Juicebox is that um, the version that I published is still out there as the old version. So I can continue to work here and make these changes. Um, and now I'm ready to go and make uh, the changes I've implemented available. And I'm going to click Share Changes. And there we have it. And now all the folks who had access before have, have access to the new one. I hope you found that useful and interesting. And if so, jump on over to myjuicebox.io, sign up for a free trial, and enjoy.